Hi everyone, my name is Aditya and I'm a developer evangelist at Salesforce. In this quick take, I'm going to talk to you about how you can build an app using Lightning Web Components open source. I'm also going to talk about the tools and commands you can use to build, test and run your apps. So let's get started. Lightning Web Components open source is an enterprise grade UI framework built on modern web standards using which you can build apps that can run on Salesforce platform or any other platform of your choice. To learn more about this framework, you can go to lwc.dev, which has all the info you need right from a quick start experience to a pretty detailed documentation. To create the app, we're going to be using the open source create lwc app tool. Here is the command to use the tool, which we can now copy paste into our terminal. So in this command, npx is a Node.js package runner that pulls the latest version of create LWC app tool from the NPM registry and runs it. So this way you don't have to install the tool and then keep updating it every now and then. And my app here is the name of the app that we are trying to build. The tool starts by asking you a couple of questions about your project architecture. And based on your selections, it's going to create the right project structure, create the boilerplate code, and fetch the appropriate dependencies. So first, let's select the mode. You can choose between a simple setup option versus advanced. Let's choose advanced to look at all the options available to configure the app. Next, we'll have to give the application a name. Then you can optionally give a description and whoever is authoring the application their name and then select the package manager. So package managers aid in package installation, version management and dependency management. We can choose between NPM or YAN. Let's choose NPM. Next, we can select the type of app you want to create, whether it's a standard web app or a progressive web app or an electron app, which can be installed on a desktop. Let's select standard web app. Next, we'll have to select the bundler. Bundler or module bundlers these are tools that bundle several modules and all of their dependencies into one or more executable JavaScript files that can directly run on a browser. You can select between Webpack and Rollup. Let's choose Webpack for now. You can choose to write your code either in TypeScript or JavaScript. The default is JavaScript, so let's just choose that. Finally, you'll have to choose whether you want a basic Express API server or not. So by saying yes to this, you get a file in which you can write custom server-side logic using Express. For example, you might want to create your own APIs, integrate with third-party systems. So all of this can be done using server-side logic. And if you want to write that, select yes. But now for this example, we'll just choose no, which is the default option anyways. And what you see here is a basic project structure that gets created and immediately the tool begins installing all the dependencies. Let's now look at the project structure in VS Code. All of the source files are present in the SRC directory, inside which first let's look at index.html. This is generally the first file that gets executed in any web app. Now the logic to create and inject the root lighting web component into this HTML file is present in index.js. So here you can see in line number four that we are creating a custom element for the lightning web component. And that element is being appended to a DOM element. Now your lightning web components are present inside the modules folder within the SRC folder. So if you expand the modules folder, you'll see a subfolder called my, which is called as a namespace. Inside the namespace folder, you're going to have both your web components, which are created by default when you create this app. So if you expand each folder, that is your web component, it contains an HTML file that holds the template. That is the front end of your component and a JavaScript file, which stores the business logic of your web component. So that is the basic structure of a project inside the SRC folder. Now, if you would have created the project by selecting yes for custom express backend, 
then this is how the project structure would look like. The SRC folder would actually contain two folders. One is client and the other is server. Within the client, you have your modules index.html, index.js files. And within the server folder, you have a file called as api.js, which holds all the logic for your custom express server. Now let's get back to our main project. So other than the SRC folder, what you'll notice is a bunch of configuration files that we have added to the project. Prettier is a code formatter that enforces a custom style across all of your project. That means it takes care of things like indentation and all of it. We have auto generated a configuration file that lets you configure this. We have also included a prettier ignore file that specifies what folders or files to ignore when prettifying a piece of code. Next, let's talk about jest. So to unit test our lightning web components, we use the jest test framework and the jest.config.js is created so that you can add custom jest configurations. Next, let's talk about ESLint. ESLint is a static code analysis tool to identify problematic patterns in JavaScript. Essentially, it enforces all best practices based on the rules that we configure. So let's say things like preventing the use of console log statements or the use of triple equal to instead of double equal to. ESLint also has an ignore file, which lets you specify the files that have to be ignored when checking for linting errors. Finally, let's talk about the most important file here, the package.json file. So this file shows us all the configuration we have created when setting up this project. So things like name, description, author, all of them are present in package.json. It also includes the dependencies out of which I want to call your attention to LWC services. All the libraries like Jest, Webpack, Express, Lightning Web Components are bundled within the single dependency so that you don't have to manage individual versions independently. So you can just update the LWC services to use the latest version. And we internally take care of making sure that it refers to the latest versions of all the other libraries like LWC that we are referring to. LWC services has its own configuration file called LWC services config.js. Using this file, you can configure things like the build output directory, the port number from which the files are served from and many more. You can find all of the configuration options by looking at the link over here. LWC services also rolls out a bunch of its own commands and all the list of commands that you can run in this project are specified in the scripts section of package.json file. So let's look at some of the commands that you can run on this project. So the build script lets you create a production build for your project using the bundler you have chosen during project creation. The serve script creates a simple express server to serve out the build output that you have created. So typically this is used for production use cases where you build out your project for production. It creates a bunch of files and then you use the serve command in order to serve those files out using a simple server. Then there are a bunch of commands that let you run tests on your project. And then there is this watch command. It internally uses Webpack's features like dev server and the watch mode to make sure that whenever you make changes in your source code, it automatically rebuilds your project and the browser is automatically refreshed. This command is most useful when you're developing your project because whenever you try to make any changes, you can immediately see the output. What we've also done in package.json is we have configured pre-commit hooks. So the job of a pre-commit hook is to run a set of commands whenever you try to commit your code to a repo. So here we are running two commands. One is the prettier and lint. So now that we understand the project structure, let's go ahead and run the app locally. For that, let me open up a terminal and run the watch command. So you can see that the local development server has started on port 3001. Let's launch it in the browser. So here you go. You can see your app running locally. So that's about it. But before you leave, here is a quick tip. You can skip the entire wizard process when using the create LWC app tool. 
by using the silent mode. So for more information, you can go to lwc.dev. Thank you for watching. If you have learned something, be sure to like this video. If you want to get more content like this pushed directly to you, click subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications.